Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth training video of the software. So in today's video, we are going to see the order management. Okay, how we are going to do the order management in our software. Okay, let's start by adding the customer. Now I am taking your customer menu of test. Okay, and I will just click on his home page. So as you can see, the customer is added. Now this particular customer, we have to go to his order panel and click on add new order. Okay, you can see add new order panel is open. So here will come the pin date, on which date he is giving you the order, the firm name, the order number we are having and the delivery date. Okay, till when we will deliver the do the delivery for this product. Okay. You can even choose the date if for example I am taking 27th June will be the delivery date. Okay, you will choose the metal type whether he is giving order for gold or any other metal. You can choose here the category he is giving order for ring. So I am taking here category as ring and in the name as aluminum. Okay, so product code will get auto generated. I will take here quantity and the goros has 9.320 and let's wait if you want to do then we have the purity option purity is 92 will not add wastage at this stage or any customer wastage we can see here it will be the hsm number here will come the sell rate i'm taking today's rate and making charges what making charges will charge from him okay you take here for example, I am taking 300 per gram. Any other charges you want to charge? Take from here. Okay. As you can see, the valuation is coming 51,260. Any diamond is attached in this ring, you can just click on the diamond and you can add the diamond details as well. Now, I'll click on the add order. As you can see, here comes the payment plan. Okay. If he is paying you any advance money, you can just take here. I'll take here the tax percentage and you can take the advance money. For example, he is paying 20,000 in advance and I'll click on submit. Okay. Now here comes the new order list of that particular customer. Now if I go to order panel, universal order panel. In new order list, it is showing the order we took from the particular customer. Okay, now if I click on the user, you can see. Now from this panel, we will assign this to any carrier or any supplier if you are giving. Okay, for example, I am taking here the sharp and okay. Now I click on the arrow panel and you can see we are on the suppliers panel. Now, if you are allocating, if, uh, if you are giving him any metal, issuing any metal to him, so just click on ready to assign and you can just give the metal from here or if you are not giving any metal, just go to order and the new order list and you can just click on the direct order option. Now, click on the direct order, okay. This order is also the pending order it is showing here. Okay. Now, if I'll go to order and the pending order list, you can see the test customer it is showing here the pending order list. Now, I'll click on the user. Okay. And if I'll go to this order and we have to go to direct assign order list. Here we will show the pending order list, any metal you want to assign, then you can just give him metal from this panel. Then order in progress list will show here. Okay, and the direct assign order list will show here. Here, can, here it will show you the transaction list, order transaction list, ready order and the return order list. I click on the direct assign order list and I have to just click on the arrow panel. Okay, now I click on the ready to return. So you can see the details are showing below okay if you want to change the gross weight then you can just change the gross weight from here okay and i'll click on submit 
as you can see the payment panel for that particular supplier and if for example I want to keep the transaction in metal I'll click on the no rate card and the transaction will be through metal okay like metal to metal transaction we are taking I'm not giving him metal at right now so I'll pay in metal later so that's why I'm keeping in no rate card and you can see 8.574 is showing the amount that we have to pay gold amount that we have to pay to, to that particular supplier. I'll click on the submit as you can see the re, re, ready written order list is shown if I go to the order and I'll check in the ready order list you can see the in ready order list it is shown okay now what we have to do we have to click on the user and you can check we are in the ready order list of that particular customer now we are, I'll click on the make bill okay you can check the details and click on the submit and this is the payment panel okay now he paid us the advance money 20,000 so I'll click here the advance money and you can see the remaining amount we have to take from that particular customer is 32567 okay now he's paying us through bank so I'll click it in the bank and I'll click on submit so here you can give him the invoice for that order panel as well okay. as you can see here it is showing the advance details advance money details also and the advance money that we did minus from his invoice is shown. Okay. So this is how you will do the order transaction with the customer. Okay. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, you can wait for the next video.